Hi everyone, it's Terry here from nutsaboutstamping.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a really fun friendship card idea using a monochromatic technique and my Under My Umbrella bundle, which is the stamp set and the corresponding punch. But I also want to introduce to you a new product that I'm going to put on my card as well. It's the So Very Vellum Specialty Designer Series paper. And this product is free with a $50 order only until the 31st of March. Now, if you live in Europe and you order from my European store, you can qualify for this paper with a 60 euro order. And it's on page seven of the second release of the Celebration Catalog. If you want to see this catalog, you can head on over to my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com, and you can download a copy of this catalog to your device. I am also going to use a piece of the Best Dressed Designer Series paper. It's in the mini catalog on page 55 and the reason that I chose one of the designs in this paper and here's just a couple of sheets of the paper these are not the ones I'm using but you can see some of the really fun designs in it is because the design that I've chosen uses purple posy and purple posy is going to be the card base for my project this week I've cut it eight and a half by five and a half and scored it on the four and a quarter mark and it's going to be a landscape uh, layout. I'm gonna set that aside. This is the piece of the people purple posy, ooh, that's a tongue twister, uh, designer series paper that I'm going to use. It's from the Best Dress Suite, but it's the sheet that has the purple posy color. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the umbrella from the Under My Umbrella stamp set I'm going to ink it up using the Tuxedo Black ink, and I'm then going to punch it. I think I'm going to use maybe the darker part of this paper. And you'll see why in a little bit. And then I'm gonna bring in my punch, and I am going to punch it out. <laughs> Get it lined up first. I'm not a very good visual figure outer, but I think this will work. Now, when you use this punch, you are going to get, unless you were really strategic about your placement, you are going to get the um, other umbrella and the little handle, and that's okay. I'm gonna set that aside and use it later. But what I want to do is bring in a piece of uh, basic black, and I want my umbrella handle to be basic black. So I'm just gonna punch that next. The next thing I want to do is create a phrase and then a decorative layer for the front of my card. So I have one of the phrases from the Under My Umbrella stamp set. I'm going to ink it up. It says, rain or shine, you're always on my mind. And I'm going to stamp that in the center of a layer of Whisper White that I'm gonna use for my card. And now I'm going to bring in my die cutting machine and I have one of the stitched shapes framelits. It's one of the square shapes, but I really like it because it has this decorative um, edge to it. And then I'm going to bring in one of my rectangular stitched frame framelits. Let me show you this pack. You get uh, so many of those. The rectangle stitched framelits dies, so many of them in there. So I'm going to create layers that have that decorative edge. So I'm going to bring in my die cutting machine and I'm going to put the whisper white with the square and then I'm going to use the phrase with the rectangle. Get them all centered and I'm going to run them through my die cutting machine and then we'll finish off the card. All right, those layers are ready to go and let's put it all together. 
Now, I did promise to you that I would show you the Vellum Specialty Designer Series paper that's available as a free choice. So you have three colors. You have the Purple Posy, you have Pool Party, and you have Soft Sea Foam. Really lovely colors for spring, aren't they? And as I said, my card is going to be monochromatic with the Purple Posy. So I have a layer of the Purple Posy vellum, and then I want to put on the Whisper White, um, and then I want my phrase at the top. Now, when you attach vellum, you don't want to use adhesive where you're going to be able to see it because vellum is so translucent. If I used my snail, you'd be able to see it underneath there. So what you want to do is you want to just kind of figure out where all your layers are going to be. I wonder, maybe I'll do it that way. And then I know where to put my adhesive for my vellum. So I'm going to put a strip there, and then I'm going to put a strip near the top so that when I adhere this down onto my card, and then I can cover up what you can see through by my phrase and then my other layer. Pretty cool, huh? That's a good tip for you when adhering vellum. This is just a bit crooked. I'm going to straighten it out. And then I have that layer. And then I'm going to put on the square. Attach that next. I think I'm going to move this up just a little bit higher. Like so. I'm having trouble keeping things straight today, my goodness. All right, so now I'm going to bring in my umbrella and I've got my little stick. So I want to put my little stick on like that. So I think what I'll do is I'll use snail for the um, handle of the umbrella. And then I think what I'll do is use a Stampin' Dimensional, which are right here. I'll use a Stampin' Dimensional next. And that'll pop up my umbrella and give it a little bit of pizzazz. Okay, so my card is taking really nice shape. But before the video began, I also stamped and then fussy cut out these little boots. And I think what I'll do is I will, I don't know where I want to put them. I think maybe I'll put them over on this side and I'll lay them flat and I'll adhere them flat as well as another nice touch for my card. And then when the video ends, what I'm going to do is take a couple of the Peaceful Poppies sequins, and there are some sequins that are sort of flower-shaped, and they are like a, I don't know, they're almost clear. But I think what I'll do is I'll adhere a few of these onto the card front, just to add another touch, and one of my New Year's resolutions is to use up all of my embellishments before the next catalog comes out and I want to order more <laughs> and new and different ones. So I'll use up some of these. So if you'd like to see the completed photo of the card, head on over to my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com. And while you're on my blog, consider subscribing to my free newsletters. I send a newsletter each week and you won't see those project ideas anywhere else. There's also a link to my online store. So if you want to earn some of the celebration products for free and use them on your projects when you're crafting at home, remember you only have until March 31st and then these products will be gone for good. I'm Terry. I am nuts about stamping. I hope you'll create something fun today too. Bye for now.